Virtual learning must begin Monday at all schools across our state as ordered by our governor earlier this week. CCSD currently offers online resources for students while teachers set up the Google Classrooms. But as Kristen Drummond shows us, that does have some challenges. Requiring education during the closure. Usually my mom wakes up in the morning and then we start doing and try to get as much done as possible. Many CCSD students now use Google Classroom to continue their studies, a free web service allowing teachers to post assignments and get creative with lessons. Try some different things for me that I normally don't do, such as chats, logs, and try to get people involved. CCSD also added educational links on the district's website, but as stated online, these student learning extension opportunities are not required for students to complete, but an attempt to provide activities for students to engage in learning at home, making it optional because of equity issues. Do you have a computer? Uh, not really. It'd be a lot harder with just a smartphone. For students who cannot access online resources at home, CCSD says there are paper assignments ready for pickup at all food distribution sites. In impossible even for any school to have a universal pro uh, policy where they have expectations that every kid is going to be able to turn in stuff and get a grade. The Nevada Department of Education requires school districts to support students. Educators are expected to contact students at least once a week, as stated in a document shared with superintendents, part of the effort to keep attendance and monitor classwork. Kristen Drummond, 8 News Now.